Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install the latest Orange Fox recovery on your Redmi Note 10 Pro. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First off, you have to download Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute the ADB command. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. As you could see, these are the files of the platform tools folder. So extract them onto your PC and once that is done, let's now move ahead. So next up you have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now carry out both this task. For that you have to go to settings menu on your phone. And from settings menu, you have to go to about phone. Then go to detailed info and specs and tap on MOUI version 7 times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back, again go back, then go to additional settings and you should now see developer options. So go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your piece, on your phone, check mark I am aware of the risk, then wait for 10 seconds and after that you have to tap on OK. So with this we have enabled USB debugging. You might get an RSA key prompt. So make sure to tap on allow or ok and now let's verify the debugging condition as well. So go to platform to folder address bar, type in cmd and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform to folders. Now type in adb devices and hit enter. Make sure that you are getting a serial id. If you are not getting any id, then unplug and replug your phone from the pc. Disable and re-enable usb debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging, use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that we are getting an ID. Once you are getting this ID, you are now good to go ahead. So next up you will now have to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that's well and good, you could refer to my guide or the video and get this job done. For that you just have to use the official me unlock tool. I have made a video on the same, you could refer to my video and unlock the bootloader. Once that is done, your next course of action is to download the recovery file. Now here comes the most challenging part. For the erops and non erops ROM, you can download from here and even in that there are a few segregation. For example, if you see the file name has an erop compression, then it is only applicable on those ROM with SD card FS depreciated such as the Pixel OS ROM. On the other hand, if you don't see the error of compression in the file name, then those recovery files could be used with the lineage OS build. Then the third one is for the MIUI and for that there is a separate link, so that's not an issue. The issue is only with the first two links. So you could go to this GitHub link and from here also you could see there are two build. The first is for the error of compression for the likes of Pixel OS, whereas the second one is for the lineage OS. And for the MIUI, there is a separate link and you could go to this link and then download the recovery file for the MIUI. This is for the MIUI, it has MIUI keyword as well. So make sure to get hold of the ROM. If you still have any doubt, you could ask that ROM developer as well or I will show you a nifty workaround using which you could verify if the ROM, if the recovery is compatible with the ROM or not. So let me show you that for that. Let's move ahead with the next step. So first of all, you have to boot your phone to fastboot mode. For booting to fastboot mode, open CMD window in the platform tools folder and type in ADB, reboot, bootloader and hit enter. And your phone should now boot into fastboot mode in a matter of few seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame. And as you could see, our phone is now in the fastboot mode. So let's now verify the fastboot connection. So type in fastboot devices and hit enter. And make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then you will have to install fastboot drivers. I made a separate guide and a video on the same. You could refer to my guide and install the fastboot drivers. Likewise, use the Windows X shortcut keys and choose device manager. Then expand the Android phone section and make sure that your phone is being shown as Android bootload interface. So this as well as the serial ID signifies that your PC is able to read the phone in fastboot mode and you could now move ahead. So next up, we will now boot our phone to the recovery. So it's always recommended to boot your phone to the recovery and never flash it. And in our case, 
that is also recommended because we are currently in some cases you might not be sure regarding the ROM type. So as of now we are using the stock MIUI. So in case of stock MIUI, there is no issue whatsoever because you have to flash this recovery. But in case of custom ROM, you might come across a few issues. So if you are not sure on which recovery to flash, then you should always first boot your phone to the recovery mode. And if your phone is booted to the recovery, then it means that the recovery is file is compatible with that ROM. And then you could permanently flash that recovery file. So as of now, we'll first boot our phone to the recovery. So make sure to download the recovery file from here. As of now, I'm using the stock MIUI. So I have downloaded this recovery file. Once you have got the recovery file, you have to place it inside the platform folder on your PC. So in my case, this is the recovery file which I have got. The recovery is in the zip format. So if that is the case with you as well, so you will have to extract the zip file. Right click on it and select extract all. Choose any location and click on extract. Once you have extracted the recovery, you have to select the recovery.img file and then transfer the img file to the platform to folder on your PC. So just to repeat, once you have got the recovery, it might be in the zip format. So extract it upon extraction, copy the recovery img file and then transfer it to the platform to folder on your PC as you can see over here. So now we will boot our phone to this recovery and verify if it's working or not. So for that you have to type in fastboot boot and the name of the file which is recovery.img So if our phone boots to the orange fox recovery then it means that this recovery is for our ROM itself and you could not flash it as well. So let's now verify the same it, would, it could take up to around 10 to 15 seconds that's not an issue. So as you could see our phone has now booted to orange fox. So in our case this signifies that the recovery is correct and you could now move ahead and permanently flash it. So let's just wait for a few more seconds. So with this we are now in the recovery and we could now flash the recovery file permanently. Now regarding the permanent flashing of recovery, there are two approaches. You could either flash the recovery from the orange for recovery itself or you could do so via the fastboot command. I will now show you both this approach. So first off let's do so from the recovery itself. So here is how you could flash the orange fox recovery from the orange fox recovery itself. For that copy the recovery img file. It's the orange fox recovery img file which we have got from the zip file. So copy this recovery img file and send it to your phone. So let me paste the recovery onto my phone. So the recovery file is being transferred. It will take only a few seconds. Once that is done, the recovery img file should now be visible here. So if that is not the case, go back and again go to the SD card slot and as you could see now the recovery is available now. So select the recovery IMG file and now you have to choose the recovery partition. So choose the recovery partition and perform a right swipe to flash it and with this the orange, the orange fox is now flashed onto the recovery partition. Now it's extremely important that you reboot your phone to the recovery mode and not the system. After flashing the recovery, you should always boot to the recovery mode. So if our phone now reboots to the orange fox recovery, as you could see, so this signifies that the orange fox has now been flashed successfully. So this was the first me method through which you could flash the orange fox recovery. Let me now show you the second method of getting this job done. So once you have used the password boot recovery command, you will then have to go to the reboot option and select bootloader and with this your phone will now boot into fastboot mode and from now from here you could use the fastboot flashing fastboot flash recovery recovery.img so since we have verified that the recovery is working well and good using the boot command we could now permanently flash the recovery file to the recovery partition so type in this command and hit enter and your phone in your phone the orange fox will now be flashed permanently. It will take just a few more seconds. So as you could see the flashing is now complete. So let, let's now boot our phone to the recovery mode. So type in fast boot, reboot recovery and if everything went well then your phone should now reboot into the orange fox recovery. So let's just verify the same. It will take around 4 to 5 seconds. So as you could see our phone has now booted into the orange fox recovery and we could now access all the files. 
so it will take just a few more seconds let's just wait and verify the same so we could now access the file and flash and wipe the data if required anything you can do now and once everything is done just select reboot and select system and your phone will now boot to the OS so guys just to conclude you will have to unlock the bootloader and then there are a couple of variation of the recovery file out of which for MIUI there is only a single file so there is no cause of concern in case of erof and non erof rom you could verify from the github page or i have also given here if the name has an erof compression then as for the rom such as pixel os on the other hand if it does not have any erof compression in its name then you could use it for the lineage os but still just to be on the safer side please never flash the rom always first boot the recovery and after booting if everything went well then you could flash the recovery so you would always use the fast boot boot command and if your phone boots to the recovery mode you could then flash it either by going to the install recovery option of, of orange fox or simply use the fast boot flash command to flash the recovery in the recovery partition so guys these were the two different methods of flashing the orange fox recovery on your redmi note 10 pro if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.